Where? It's right in front. Go ahead. It's funny, right? Excuse me, can I get in? What? Right here, right here. This is a young woman, mid 20s, that was pulled very violently from the park and arrested with everyone else. She was kept in this holding center, like they pinned everyone off. And on by like while they were trying to escort her onto an MTA vehicle, which is illegal. So she began to hyperventilate and fainted and started seizuring on the ground. There's that, several minutes. That was that was multiple minutes. That was four to five minutes seizuring on the ground, just watched by police, not touched while everyone yelled that this is a woman seizuring everyone saw and they were standing. But after that they and tried to they, pick her up. They dragged her from from the ground on the street over onto the curb and let her lay on the curb. They did not support her neck or her spine in a way that you're supposed to do when someone is seizuring to prevent them from choking on their tongue or their own blood. They did none of those things. They let her lay there. After another maybe five minutes, this is a, this is a ten minutes total, then an NYPD medic entered the scene and slowly began to treat her. She, she was not responding to that treatment. She began hyperventilating Body, again. I'm still in the front. I'm so this, at this point, this right is maybe 15 minutes have go. elapsed. She begins dry heaving. The police are watching her. There's there's more than 20 to 25 police watching this young woman who has just had a seizure. Her back is stiff. This is that is something that happens after you have a seizure, and she is still on the ground. People are, began to call an ambulance. And then she got up and they were trying to give her air, and she fainted. That was the end of the police helping. She's laid on the ground in the same position since she fainted. Stefan called the ambulance, and hopefully that's the ambulance that came. Yeah, I tried to call, I called 911. I tried to get in touch with EMS. I'm surprised they didn't already know about this. It seemed like from the operator that they weren't told, which makes me suspicious of if the police were actually um, communicating with the police or not. Um, but it looks like the fire department is here. I'm a little suspicious based on previous history tonight. What's going to happen? But at least they're in better hands than the police who were doing a swarming tactic, which is the opposite of what you do when someone is fainting and hyperventilating. Um, by like having many people hoard over, many of which are not qualified trained medical professionals, they've actually it created an environment. It exacerbates the situation, creates a very violent, dangerous situation. Furthermore, there were reports that she had been violently beaten in the park, which had led to the trauma that that was induced in the form of a seizure. So it's been a multiple layers of police abuse, violence, and neglect that have led to a situation that someone is going to be hospitalized. She watched her get dragged. Please. And she, and she I saw her being dragged over there. Her skirt was way above her, um, her bottom. They were dragging her over here. Last thing I know, there's a seizure. I ran to get one of our medics, Captain, who's been our medic since like day one here. I brought him here. He's still there debating with the cop because they won't let him to her. So they waited till I don't know how long the fire department got here. Very too long, ten and minutes at least. She's still convulsing. Oh, this is a trained street medic, someone who could have dealt with the situation, and they didn't let them pass barricades. back. Let's go. Step back, please. Thank you. Let's step back, please. Turn around and step back. Watch where you step. You don't get the... Uh, See. Every corner of this guy walk into the park. Yeah, fuck you. In your face. In your face. You're the one that thinks that you got a gun. And that's the most important thing right now. Someone's having a fucking seizure and you're letting it happen? You piece of shit. I had nothing to do with nothing like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you didn't have nothing to do with that? You didn't have anything to do with that?
Zach Roberts. Um, I'm a member of the press. I've already I was arrested three months ago at uh, the D17 action. Um, this time uh, they're pushing back the people. I trip back on the sidewalk. They, they of course, as you know, they keep pushing you back. And then I had six pe I had three or four people step on me, and then six people fell on top of me. Um, the, uh, once they finally cleared the people that were on top of me, um, the officer decided that I guess I was resisting arrest. I'm not quite sure what was happening because I was face down on the ground. Um, they then um, I got hit twice in the head with a baton. They then pulled my hair back for some reason, I guess, to try to get me up because that's an effective way of doing that. Um, and then hit me twice in the back again. And then when I finally had the chance to actually yell, press, 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 they shoved me again and I was propelled forward and then fell a couple more times because they just kept pushing me. So, wow. yeah, my glasses were knocked off. Um, glasses were knocked off. Um, I'm, they're a little bent, but um, I'm hoping none of my equipment in my bag is destroyed, but I guess I'll find that out later. So, yeah, fun times. Right on. I come by after work about 10.30, the park's full, you know, six month anniversary of Occupy Wall Street, celebratory mood, and then uh, all of a sudden the cops come in, not only do they clear the park, but then we couldn't even stand on the sidewalk, they're saying get out of the park, we're like, we are out of the park, where, where does the park end, then they push us across the street, then we're across the street, then they start pushing us off a block, we're a block away, I'm literally a block away. I'm just, I'm eating something, and all of a sudden I, I have a baton in my back, and this cop is pushing me repeatedly, like hitting me in my, my kidneys. I'm like, my hands are up. I'm like, what is going on? I'm like, I'm a block away from the park that you're clearing. Why am I getting hit in my kidneys? 